Hey everybody, Carrie here. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm Carrie, AKA American Arbitrage, and I'm a full-time reseller, picker, and eBay seller. I've been doing this for one decade since March of 2011. I love it, it's what I do full-time. Many of you may know me from TikTok, from doing my TikToks, or my reels on Instagram, or the other stuff I do on Instagram. I wanna do some more full-length stuff here on YouTube. I know I've talked to some of you about it, it's been something I've been meaning to do. So I'm gonna do it. In this video, I am gonna go through what I've sold on eBay this past couple days. I also have some sales on Instagram, Facebook, um, Mercari, I believe, several places, but I'm just gonna focus on eBay and let's get right into it and see what I sold. Look for this stuff too and make some money. So here is my pile of stuff that I sold on eBay. There's all different kinds of price points from a couple bucks all the way up to $100 plus shipping. Let's start out with this hat that I sold. This is a Juniper Hammerhead New Era, um, probably about a 10 year old hat, but it is new old stock. Minor league baseball hats sell really well. I personally prefer snapbacks as opposed to fitted hats, but this one sold really well. I actually got a whole bunch when I was down in St. George uh, visiting family and picking last month. I've sold most of them already. This one sold for $20 plus shipping, I had, I believe, $4 into it. So I made after fees, roughly around $12, $13 profit. It's important to show the hits with the misses. I got this Elton John tour program, 1988. Thought it was so cool. I got it in a collection with others. I paid $5 a piece. I quickly realized after that garage sale, it was about two or three months ago when I went to that garage sale in Las Vegas, that I had overpaid. And one of the most important things you can do when you overpay is just consider it a sunk cost and get out what money you can or make the smallest profit or a small profit if you're able. And I made the smallest of profits, probably actually didn't quite make profits after fees and everything. I sold this for $6. I bought it for five. After fees, they did pay shipping, but after fees, I probably lost about 50 cents. Some of the other ones I sold for around 10. Some are left... Um, you know, that I have not sold yet. So all said and done, I'm probably gonna break even, maybe make just a few dollars on these. It happens. So I've been working with an estate buyout guy for the last couple years, and I get a lot of his stuff that he doesn't wanna deal with, and I get it at a very cheap price. I got a 300, I think, about 300 CDs and about 60, 70 books for $100. And I also got a couple other home decor items that are in my uh, shop here. And I sold this, this took about three or four months. It was a lot of Broadway CDs and I sold it for $22 plus shipping. I've already made a profit on that deal. So this is all profit and the, the buyer paid shipping. Had an amazing deal on these sealed action figures at the swap meet eight days ago. I got some Captain Americas, Avengers, GI Joes, all sorts of different ones. Um, I got them for $1.95 a piece. I have some others that haven't sold yet. One Star Wars one is worth over $100. I got another, uh, I think it was um, a Snake Eyes one that's worth about 60 bucks, and a Duke that's worth about 30 or 40 um, But I've already sold one of the G.I. Joes. I have two of these Alley um, Viper ones. This one sold for $22 plus shipping. I sent out a best offer. I had it at $30. I sent out a best offer, and somebody took it. I got $22 plus shipping on it. I also have these eight First Avenger action figures. They're all different ones. I don't know how many different ones they made for the First Avengers, but these are all different, which made it a lot easier to sell. I would have made about five to $10 a piece if I sold them individually, but I put them in a lot and it took about eight days and they sold in the lot for $65 plus shipping. I love finding these kind of new old, you know, they're not super old, but they're new action figures. They sell pretty well. A lot of people overlook them and they do great. I don't know if you've heard it before, but look out for Chuck E. Cheese plushes, Chuck E. Cheese entertainment memorabilia, also showbiz pizza stuff. It sells really, really, really well. I got this at a garage sale. Goodness, it was seven weeks ago, almost two months ago. I paid $1. It's in great condition. It's not super old. It's from 1996 and I sold it after the seven weeks. I had it up over $100. I sent out some offers. I got a counter offer. I sent out a $75 offer, and I got a $72 counter offer, which was fairly reasonable, so I took it and sold Jasper. It was good knowing him, but that's a great profit on a dollar item. You can find those all the time at swap meets and garage sales. This stuff is overlooked. Even plush at thrift stores is oftentimes 
only a dollar. So keep an eye out for that stuff. Look out for Chuck E. Cheese and Showbiz Pizza stuff. One of my favorite things to sell besides sports cards are action figures and loose action figures sell really, really well. A lot of this stuff that you're seeing right here is bread and butter, the best of which would be this um, 2005 Spider-Man right here. When you're looking at action figures, look for articulation. You see how it has several spaces on his chest that move, also his ankles and everything they move. That makes for a better action figure in general. I got this one in a $2.99 bag and I sent out a best offer and sold it for $10 plus shipping. I sell a lot of wrestling stuff. See all these wrestling figures. This one is one of the longer items I've actually had in my store. I've had this for about a year and a half, maybe two years. I got it for, I think, 75 cents, maybe a dollar. Sold it for six plus shipping. This I got for probably 75 cents or a dollar. Sold for three plus shipping, not amazing. These two I got in a lot. I paid, goodness, I think $2.75 per action figure in this lot. I got about 100 of them. Um, I sold uh, $6 on the X-Pac and this, um, I think that's a Cage, Christian Cage. I don't remember exactly. Um, and this one sold for $4 plus shipping. These are 90s. And then this is a 3.75 inch Luke action figure. I got this, I believe, in a toy bag. So the bag is assuredly already paid for. So I don't have any money in this and this sold for $7.50 plus shipping. Look out for action figures. You find them in toy bags at Savers, you find them at garage sales, swap meets, all over the place. Next up, let's go through these cards. I actually have not been selling a ton of cards lately. The market is uh, pretty slow on sports cards right now. Um, I also sold this, so let's go through this real quick. This is a Good Sam uh, car antenna. I got about, gosh, maybe about seven or eight of these and some other Good Sam stuff for $10. I sold this for $4 plus shipping. I got this a long time ago. I, I was investing, thinking that uh, Bender was going to become a good player. He was um, on the Bucks at the times. Then he went to the Warriors, and he just never played. They got rid of him. Uh, so I paid a couple bucks for this, and I got $2 plus shipping. I got my money back out of it. Uh, this was a good one I got out of a pack, albeit the pack was $15. Bucks. Um, I like opening for fun, and I like to sell what I find. But Austin Martin is the best Bowman card this year, really, that you can find. It's a first Bowman this is the camo parallel. This sold for $9 plus shipping. This is just one of the hundreds, if not thousands, of decent common star cards I have. Um, I've gotten them in lots, most paid for. And if I have any money in, in them, it's just a couple pennies. This sold for $250 plus shipping. And I just got a lot of nine of these and a whole bunch, maybe 300 base Pokemon cards for $25. Bucks. I sold this one for $2 plus shipping. And I just sold another one as I was doing this video, another full art one for $5.50. Plus ship. If you guys are enjoying this content, could you take a second before I get in and finish off the rest of my solds um, and just like and subscribe. Also, if you can comment down below what you'd like to see more of. Do you want to see more of me at garage sales, swap meets, thrift stores, doing what's sold, answering questions? Let me know what you're looking for so I can make those kind of videos. Now back to the sales. Back about a year and a half ago, one of my biggest TikTok videos, I think it was one of my first to get near a million or get over a million. I don't remember was me getting these two plushes. And I mean like over a year and a half ago, I think. Um, I got both of these, I believe at the time for $3. I was telling everybody to look out for this um, little tag for Disney store stuff and it did sell, it just took a long time. I sold both of these plushes together in a lot for $15 plus shipping. That being said, I had a lot of offers throughout the year and a half plus, but I finally took uh, a full price offer. Somebody offered well, they didn't offer, they just paid full price. I got the 15 bucks plus shipping. So about two months ago at the DI in St. George, I picked up this Sony mini disc CD player. Sony's a great brand. I paid 15 bucks for this. I did not know at the time how good it was. I um, actually thought it was maybe 50, 60 bucks. I looked it up and I ended up posting it at $200. Now it stayed at $200 for that whole two months. I got a few offers, which I refused, but after the two months, somebody offered me 100, and I was going to you know, rebut and offer somewhere in the middle, but I just, I don't know what got into me. I decided to just take the offer and sell it for $100. That was a good profit for me, and I was happy with it. So that sold for $100 plus shipping. Look forward to getting that out to the customer. Electronics sell well. Honestly, I don't love selling them. To be completely honest, I don't love selling electronics. I prefer cards and toys. But as a full timer, I gotta sell stuff, you know, sometimes that I don't really enjoy, but that sells for good money. As a reseller, I feel it's important sometimes to take educated risks. 
even if you don't make a ton of money on them or even lose money at times, it's important because you can learn things that will help you make more money in the future. I paid $15 for this back in the, the DI in St. George about two months ago. Um, I'd seen some comps. I think I saw one out of the package or not in a great package that sold for around 30. There wasn't a lot of material out there saying that this was a great item, but I knew this was 80s and I knew you know it was a Jaguar and it was in the box still and it was brand new. Um, that it could sell. And I ended up selling it for $25 plus shipping. Now, was that worth my time? I think it was because I learned something important. I learned that, you know, this could go for about 25 or 30 bucks. So if I find it for one, two, three, four or five bucks, definitely get it. Also learned that I can take chances on some of these vintage radio remote control cars and might do well. I love learning in this business. I think it's super, super, super important. When you're learning, you can, you know, expand what you're able to sell and make more money doing this. And that's half the fun of this business. Thank you all so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. I have, you know, some other sales I have to pack up. A few more eBay things. I have uh, Instagram sales, about 10 or 11 of those. Uh, and a couple Facebook and Mercari sales as well. I have to get out. I'm heading to St. George, Vegas, and California this next week. I'm going to be gone for about six or seven days. So I should be doing a lot of videos. Let me know what you want to see. If you want to see me thrifting and doing going to garage sales, you know, I do a lot of short form stuff on TikTok and Reels and on YouTube Shorts, but I haven't done a lot of long form stuff for a while. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. Hope you all have an awesome day, an awesome week, and I'll talk to you next time.